Thanks, Miranda. And now, as is our nightly practice here on Newsmax Prime, let's go in depth with pollster John Zogby. John, of course, the director of the Keenan Center for Entrepreneurship and Ethics at his alma mater, Lemoyne College. Also, he is the author of the new book, We Are Many, We Are One Neo Tribes and Tribal Analytics in 21st Century America. And, John, as we welcome you back to Newsmax Prime, you are nothing if not prolific. Your new column today, available at John Zogby Strategies website, Hillary Clinton's Crisis. And you set up a polling question for all time across history. I'd love this. If the election were held today and the candidates were Republican Nero, Democrat Catherine de' Medici, and Libertarian Timothy Leary, for whom would you vote? John. The reason for that historical illusion and that great polling question. These are not great candidates, JD. Let me be honest with you. Donald Trump, um, you know, has been accused of narcissism, and one of the great narcissists in world history was was Nero. Catherine de' Medici was ruthless and plotting. Very powerful woman. Did some good things, but an awful lot of bad went with her. And Timothy Leary probably would not know where Aleppo is, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, well, with all that and the apt historical analogy, uh, let, me, uh, let me go to the here and now. According to the latest polling from CBS News and New York Times, uh, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are in a dead heat. As a matter of fact, let's review the polls released today. CBS News, New York Times has them deadlocked at 42 apiece. Rasmussen Reports has Donald Trump ahead by two. And that daily tracking poll in the L.A. Times has Mr. Trump by six. Of those three samples, which do you think is most valid? Well, they all are. They're all saying the same thing, but somewhere in between is probably true. You know, either a tie, more than likely, I think Trump leads. We have, we have not seen the full impact of Hillary Clinton's crisis on, uh, on Sunday that hasn't made its way through all of the sampling yet. But clearly, she is declining. Polling in all three of these polls, you know, in the very low 40s, uh, that's not good. Big question, J.D., where does she go from here? You know, how, how does she get her, how, do, how, how does she get her mojo working again? Yeah, and that, that leads to another question that maybe you've had some experience with as a pollster. There are different points in time. We always stress that they are, these are snapshots. But will this mm -hmm. Hillary health problem, will it be a little different from sunburn? In other words, the initial pain and then it gradually passes. Is this something where she has failed to level? Uh, on such a consistent basis, and now still with the questions, will this continue to dog her, in your estimation? It could. And it's not only the illness issue. What it is is a question of truthfulness, which she wasn't, um, and then a question of judgment as well. So if she knew she had pneumonia on Sunday, um, uh, why was she playing with her grandchildren, J.D.? And then why does she go out and pointedly hug a five-year-old uh, girl? Um, you know, Nani's got pneumonia. Why don't you play with her for 90 minutes while we figure out how we're going to spin this? <laughs> okay, look, we're neither, neither one of us are that. doctors, nor do we play one on TV. Some of the physicians would, would claim her pneumonia was not contagious. What Donald Trump hope is, con hopes is contagious are his new poll numbers from two key swing states, according to the latest ratings from CNN and ORC, Mr. Trump leads Hillary Clinton by five points in Ohio, and uh, he also leads Hillary by three points in Florida. Those two states, electorally crucial for the Republican. About 30 seconds for your summation, John. No, they're absolutely huge. A Republican can't win without, without Ohio. Donald Trump leading Ohio by six points. If that holds, that's revolutionary. George W. Bush won it in 04. Obama won it twice. Florida, that's just a huge load of electoral votes. It adds an enormous number of votes to his column. And, of course, a Republican has to have both Ohio and Florida because... Years ago, the GOP ironically had to wave goodbye or perhaps say adios to California and those 50-plus electoral votes. John Zogby, as always, we appreciate your time here on Newsmax Prime.